We are in the forest now, and we call here Kakum Conservation Area. So when I say Kakum Conservation Area, it consists of two blocks of forest. We have the Kakum National Park and the Asin Akarasio Resource Reserve. The whole forest covers an area of 360 kilometers square. So when they come to where we are standing now, it's called the Kakum National Park. And when they come to Kakum National Park, we also have two types of forest. We have the secondary forest and the primary forest. So where we came from up to this place is the secondary forest. So this is a primary forest. So secondly, because it was first used by a local community for farming activities. So all the trees that you see here has ever been cut down before and rejuvenated. Here was gathered to be a national park in the year 1992 by wildlife department. By the year 1931, it was managed by a forest division and they were, they were cutting down of trees. That is mahogany, so we don't have mahogany in the forest anymore. We have 40% um, of the animals and the 60% of the animals, they are critically endangered. Some are no more in the system. So the 40% of, of the animals that we have here, we have the forest elephants, we have the antelopes, and the common ones are the Maswell dikers and the bongo dikers. We also have monkeys, and the common ones are the black and white global monkeys, and the mona monkeys. We also have snakes, we have the cobra, we have green mamba, yellow mamba, we also have African python over here. For about two years ago, they discovered a leopard. So we also have a leopard in the forest. And hello, please nobody should take trees. Okay, I beg you, nobody should take trees. Because you have beautiful snakes up there. So when you are shaking trees, you, it's easy you might break down snakes. So nobody should take trees. And you have about six minutes to the break. As I said, eight percent of the animals, they are nocturnal, which means that they are only active at night. So we can't see them during daytime. But for the mambes, they are very common over here. That's why I'm saying nobody should take trees. By the elephant, the leopard, and the, the monkeys, we can't see them during daytime. Because of the noise, they go back at night before they, they come. So we have about six minutes to the bridge. And the bridge was built in the year 1995. And it was built by two Canadians and supported by six Ghanaians. Hello. So that is 27 years down the line. We haven't experienced any accidents, any casualties. It can carry two forest adult elephants. That is equivalent to eight tons, and nothing will happen. But in order to show the bridge, we we'll have to give you, I have to group you to ten. Ten, ten, ten. So when you are working on it, it will be swinging and making noise. Other people too will be crying, but all the same, you are safe. So when they get there, you have two types of bridges. You have the short one and a long one. We also have the pretest bridge, but it's part of the whole bridge. So after the first one, then you decide yourself whether you want to go more or you want to do the short one or the bypass. So you want to go more, that you are going for seven suspended bridges before you exit. And the length of the long one is 350 meters. But when you take the short one, you only have 80 meters before you exit. And you can see you won't feel, the, you won't feel anything about the bridge. So I will encourage everybody to take the long one so that in the future you can have something to see. <laughs> so the height of the whole bridge ranges from 11 meters to 14 meters. That is equivalent to what a 30 feet. You can ask if there's no question that we can go. But please, please again, nobody should shake the trees whilst we are going. You should follow my footsteps. Nobody should go to the side, but you should be in the middle of the path. So I will go there safe and come back safe. Okay? And when you go there, you are allowed to take pictures. You are allowed to pose, friends and everything. But don't raise, don't raise your phone above the net. Because when they fall down, we can't get it for you. Now you can consider the height of the bridge. Okay, so I'll end the whole thing over here. If you have any questions, you can ask. My brother wants to see snakes. Snakes. <laughs> Don't mind him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I would like to thank you for lending me attention, okay? Right. So we are good to go now. Wait, I'm not sure about walking on this path.